Oh, you want to see the thing? It's just offended! Um, <laughs> if it's the right time, I'm saying you can show me. I'll put it to you. Please focus. Your Majesties, call forth the Order of the Pelican. So, is there a royal pair who will speak to Serena's nobility? Uh, your Majesty, I would speak for her nobility. Uh, I would say she probably also needs to do more push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Only if uh, Theo can do them. Like. Yeah, if Theo can do them. Uh, during our first reign, uh, Serena came to us with the idea for the Tournament of the Arts. And, uh, we thought it sounded like a great idea that we weren't going to have to do any of the writing for it. She totally took on and did all of the organization and work for it. Um, and it has grown and prospered and gone to other kingdoms. Uh, she has, she's a treasure to the Middle Kingdom as well as to society. She is most definitely worthy of this order. I highly commend her to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a member of the chivalry who will attest to Serena's courtesy? Hi, Your Majesties. I am Gregoire, Knight and Pelican, and I am here to talk about Countess Serena. As we have heard, Her Excellency created the Tournament of Arts. And that in and of itself is an, ex a, an example of prowess in service. But she went a step beyond and trained her successor to run the Tournament of the Arts. It has continued to flourish and grow because of her stewardship. She took the idea of the craft person's green and went from, hey, this is something that might be cool in the kingdom, to something that is now featured at events throughout all of the regions of the kingdom and at Penzik. I am sure that we'll be seeing it in other kingdoms soon. That speaks of her prowess as a leader, but more importantly, perhaps, of a pelican. When she was on the throne, she sacrificed of herself to shield the people of this kingdom from bad things happening. <laughs> Those bad things she took upon herself, and for that, I am eternally grateful and can only recommend her for this and so much more. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a companion of the Laurel who can attest to her arts and science? Your Majesties, I have that honor, and my name is Honor, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everyone said what I was going to say, so uh, we're going to wing it. <laughs> <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting Serena because I got to be her bardic champion for her reign. And the amount of service that she did during her reign, not everyone knows how hard it is, um, but those who get to serve on staff see a tiny peak. We don't see all the evenings. But we definitely see the work that goes in on the weekends. And the work that she put in was above and beyond. Normally, sometimes, people take a break after that. <laughs> but her enthusiasm and inexhaustible energy for the arts and science and for this kingdom propelled her to continue to work faithfully and constantly. So, I cannot do anything but recommend her for this. Technically, yes. I was also her apprentice, because I'm a very lucky person. And she's one of the best human beings in the world. Thank you. Is there a master of defense who will attest to Serena's courage and honor? Your Majesty, the defender who was meant to speak for Serena regretfully has fallen ill. But if it pleases you, he has sent words, and I would read them with you. Yes, please. Hear these, the words of Adam Coleman, recognized as the seventh master of defense of the Middle Kingdom, for they shine a light on Serena Kimballwick. The period ceremony is perhaps the most important cultural act we have in the society. 
We come together to celebrate the greatness given by the best of us, a shared experience that allows us all to reflect upon the qualities that matter and to see those qualities are reflected in one person so that we are all elevated into a community of purpose. It is arguably sacred. So, it was at my elevation where Serena was there, princess, to bear witness to my last unanswered blow. But more important even than that, she was there to see that my garb was misbehaving. It was windy, and my shirt collar was more sale than stitch work. So she fixed it leaving her throne to kneel next to me and solve what needed to be better. Because that is who Serena is. Noble, worthy, and absolutely dedicated to elevating your populace to greatness. She has done, and she will do, always exactly that. For this reason, I commend her to you. Thank you. Noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that Countess Serena is worthy of elevation into the laurel of the Order of the Pelican? <laughs> <laughs> I can word, I promise. <laughs> Serena, right mindful of your service to society and the responsiveness of your peers, we are resolved to make you master of the Pelican which creature will nourish her young, when necessary, with the blood of her own breast, and therefore has chosen as the most appropriate symbol of the service of, to the society. Therefore will you, Serena, give us your word that you will continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance of this order as you most surely have till now. Will you increase your labors nobly, increase your talents as befit one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society? I will. Do you promise to train any dependents in service as you have done yourself? I will. Is there a medallion? Then take from our hands this symbol of nobility and token of our esteem. Wear it proudly that all may recognize your service as we have acknowledged in, in this day. Is there a coat? Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's one more. more medallions. Any more medallions? <laughs> <laughs> there will be a legacy red. This is the legacy pelican medallion of the Clucklands, first received by Elizabeth Ales, passed to Sarah of the Erie Seas, to Alda Maurice Vensky, to Lucius Aurelius Valharic, to Zuriel Aurelius Nightshade, to Dmitri Zirov, Sorsha Fraser, to Angharic, and now to Serena. Is there a coat? I am Majesty. This magnificent <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is embroidered with Armin. <laughs> embroidered with the symbols of Serena's peerages, rose, laurel, and now pelican. We all can agree that it is truly a work of art. <laughs> Looks great on you. Wear this coat as an outward token of your station. Is there a cat? There is, Your Majesty. Wear this cap of maintenance as a symbol of your service. And now we will have your. I here swear fealty and do homage. I here swear fealty and do homage to the crown of the middle kingdom. To the crown of the middle kingdom. To serve the crown in all things. To serve the crown in all things. To remember courtesy and kindness. To remember courtesy and kindness. To try the justice of personal gain. To prize justice above personal gain. 
To labor, to labor for the, for the common, common good. good. To labor for the common good. To, to enrich, enrich the kingdom and the society. To enrich the kingdom and the society. So they may flourish and grow. So they may flourish and grow. And, and to, to be worthy of the title of Pelican. And to be worthy of the title of Pelican. Here by my honor, my hand. Here by my honor. My hand. My hand. And my heart. And my heart. Swear, swear I. Swear I, Serena Kimblewick. This do we hear, and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, service with honor, and oath breaking with justice. Master Serena, you request to be dumb. in remembrance of oaths given and received, in remembrance of your lineage and obligation. Be thou a good talent. Rise, Mr. Master Serena, companion of the pelican. <laughs> Mistresses of the Pelican, please take the newest member of the 